condolences uh, to to the Delaware State University football family. Talk a little bit about uh, moving forward with your ball club and your impressions of last weekend. Uh, last weekend is is uh, is not who we are, um, and and that's the part that uh, concerns me. Um, we, we have to find a way uh, to play four quarters of consistent football. And for some reason last week, I'm not sure if it was uh, the, the element of, of the big stage uh, is, is, is what did it. But uh, when, when we've done something over and over correctly, especially leaning towards our defense, and then last week it seems like, you know, people came to see our defense, you know, put on the show, and we didn't perform well last weekend defensively and and that uh i'm not ready to, to, to throw the talent of course but i am waiting uh to uh to generate more competition at practice to get us to play better um i think maybe some of our guys have gotten a little complacent uh, because of the past three outings of us playing um uh howard was in our favor and uh i shared with them that's not the same howard football team and then getting their quarterback back uh, was a big deal. He is a, uh, uh, he was sharp. Uh, I, I watching all the films that he's played. Uh, that was his best game, uh, that, that he's played, uh, to date. He really did a, a phenomenal job orchestrating, finding open receivers, putting the ball where his guys could get it. And then, uh, uh, orchestrating on his RPOs and, uh, giving his running backs the opportunity to, to be the fast running backs that they are. Uh, so, um, we, we, we didn't, we didn't really, uh, uh, play the game that we wanted to play and on no aspects, offense, defense, or especially special teams. Some of the mistakes that we made and then the penalties, the penalties were un unreal. Uh, some of the things that, that we had and it was all senseless penalties. And I got to do a better job of getting our team more matured, uh, to handle the big stage and ready to play when the, when the big spotlights come on. Coach, I had opportunity to get a first-hand look at Central uh, on Saturday uh, in Orangeburg. Uh, I'm seeing a gritty team, a hard-nosed team, a very competitive team. They can, as you know, they can throw it around and they can definitely run. When you look at what Trey is doing with North Carolina Central, talk about the Eagles that you see so far. Uh, they're a well-rounded football club all the way through. Um, it starts with their quarterback, of course, uh, and then they got a dynamic running back that can take it, uh, is, is uh, to the house like he did last week. And, um, then, uh, their, their offensive schematics and, and what they do, they put you in conflict. Uh, they can score quick. They can score fast. Uh, they can, um, they create turnovers like they did against Morgan. Uh, they can really, um, uh, uh, run the score up early, uh, with, with the way the style of, of, of football that they play offensively and defensively. Their defensive guys are very stingy. They create turnovers. Um, the ball happens to, to go their way a lot of times, a couple tip passes, and their guys are sitting right there just to grab the ball for an interception. So the makeup of their program is of their head coach, you know, um, and, and Trey will definitely have those guys ready to, 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 to play. And uh, we got to play, we got to play lights out uh, to win this football game Saturday. Coach, in closing, uh, guys work hard uh, all year to get to this point. Here we are as we move through October and get into November. And this is what it's all about, the MEAC, every Saturday. Just talk about a golden opportunity to continue to compete. And, uh, you know, with six teams around, there's not much margin for error. Well, the difference is last week we were in the driver's seat because we hadn't had any, any losses in, in the MEAC. Once you have one loss, you're not in the driver's seat anymore. Okay, you're still in the car, okay, but you're not the driver, okay? So you can still get to your destination, okay, because you're in the car. But in order for you to have an opportunity to, to drive the car, uh, now it's going to reflect on other people and other things uh, kind of happening so that gives you an opportunity uh, uh, to, to, to drive the car to the destination. So that's how I explained it to our guys yesterday. Uh, they understand that we will revisit that again uh, tomorrow when we go out to practice, and uh, we will practice with a purpose tomorrow, and that's to win a football game on Saturday. Thank you, sir. Have a blessed week. Thank you.